you're going to give up on all of the goals that you start. So you're always going to be starting and stopping and starting and stopping. And that's the that's what actually brought on this topic that I saw people starting goals and even myself starting goals and then not following through all the way to the end of the goal. I said, like, well, what's going on? Why, why is there no one finishing the goals? Like you're trying to go for the goal and you just keep getting stopped. So what is that? And I asked myself and it's this, it's this stop and start cycle that happens all the time. Welcome to the Jesse Dawson podcast. Another episode ready for your ears, for your eyes, ready to consume. So what are, we, what are we talking about today? We're talking about motivation and how motivation kills your success. So doesn't that sound counterintuitive? Isn't motivation what keeps you going? Isn't motivation what yeah, gets you to your results? Isn't that what takes you to the next level? No, not at all actually, not at all. You'd think that. You'd think it would. It seems obvious that motivation is what you need. You need motivation. You've got to keep motivated. You've got to stay motivated. And no, that will be a lie. And I'll get into why that's a lie in a second. So what is motivation? Motivation is the drive to achieve your goals, essentially. Definition is a variation of that. So it's the drive, it's the drive behind you. Now, when, if you've ever tried to drive towards a goal and achieve something great, your motivation is really good to get you going, really good. Like you're just getting, you sum it up, motivation, here we go, we're gonna go and fight the fight. And it works, it gets you going, it gets you going. But does it get you to your goal? How many times, and put your hand up, <laughs> if you've ever started to go towards a goal and then the motivation is worn out and you never got to the goal because you weren't, well, you can't say you weren't motivated because you were. So how come the motivation that you had that got you going, that drive behind the goal that you were trying to achieve, how come that motivation didn't take you all the way there? How come it fizzled out? How come the motivation stopped and then the goal wasn't achieved, you gave up or you said it was too hard or changed your mind or whatever the thing is. How come that happened? How come it fizzled out? Like, what is that about? Motivation. Let's talk about fire, for instance. So the fire beneath you that, that lights your, your path and fire under your ass, it gets you going. Motivation is like fire starters. Those little white things that you get that you put in like barbecues and to start fires. Uh, or it's sort of like jet fuel, if you will, if you don't like my fire starter analogy. <sighs> then my comparison there. It's like fire starters. So you light the fire starter and that's like flame and it's ready to go. And that fire starters usually get like hot coals and things like that going. But the fire starter is made of a chemical or made of something that burns really hot and really fast. Same with jet fuel. You light jet fuel if you were ever to do that for some reason. It's up and it's gone. Like any gasoline burns really fast, hot and heavy and, and quickly and then it's gone. If it's not on anything else obviously. So... If you have a pile of jet fuel, lighter fluid, whatever you want, light it, it just, and it's gone. Same with the fire starter. If you just put a fire starter down, you light it, it's got a good, decent flame, and then it goes, and it's disappeared. Now, motivation is just like that. It's really good to start. It's really good to be able to use the motivation to start pushing the ball up the hill, start pushing the boulder. And it's really good, but eventually, the fire starter burns out goes away and then you're just left pushing this boulder by yourself with no extra fuel you know you haven't got any rocket engines going your jet fuel's gone you know you're just holding this boulder and you can only push it to a certain point before you've run out of oomph and then the boulder rolls down and you start back down the bottom of the hill and then maybe you find something else and you get a little fire started going 
And this time you think, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull jet fuel on the fire starter. That's going to do it. You light it, poof, up the jet fuel goes, fire starter's going, and then boom, off you go. Dun -dun 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 -dun, up the hill, and then guess what? Same thing happens. Eventually it runs out, and then you're left pushing the boulder up the hill. And you, you might even make it close. And then whoosh, down the boulder comes, and then you're back at the start. But you're close, you're close. And you think, okay, that's it. I'm going to get three fire starters. Line them up. Boom. That's going to be my motivation this time. And you go up the hill. And then you start pushing up the hill. And eventually, as I said, three fire starters, they, they go out. And then you're left pushing the boulder again. Down the hill you go again. Back at the start. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a fire starter. I'm going to get ten fire starters. And I'm going to put them all together, light them up, rage in a bit of an inferno. You, turn, you pour some gasoline, some lighter fluid, some jet fuel on there. And you just try and go straight for the goal and try and hit that target. Start pushing the boulder up the hill and you're pushing really fast. Like There's a lot of energy there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one. You start pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and the fire starters burn out again. And why do they keep burning out? Why, If you add more fire starters, if you add more motivation, why aren't you getting to the goal still? Because motivation, doesn't matter how much you have of it, it still burns at the same speed. So having 10 lots of motivation doesn't mean you're going to get there anymore because you're going to have the same amount of oomph from that 10 as you will from 1. It's just up to you. So you're always going to end up pushing that boulder up the hill and it coming falling back down on you every single time because motivation is not what's going to get you there. It's what gets you started. It's a fire starter. And even if you had motivation along the way, eventually... The motivation isn't going to be enough to keep you going. The motivation is not going to be enough to push you through to the end of the tunnel. You're going to be walking that dark tunnel and you're going to hit a couple of curves and then you're not going to know where you are and motivation is not going to keep you going forward. You're going to fall in the tunnel and you're going to be stuck in the tunnel. Motivation is not the key to success. It's actually what's hurting you because everyone tells you, all the performance coaches in the world, all the big names, they're all saying, motivation, you've got to stay motivated. You've got to keep going. You've got to keep going. You've got to summon the you've got to peak state. You've got to do all that stuff and you've got to keep going until you don't, until you fall over, until motivation runs out, until you don't have the drive within you innately to be able to keep going because the motivation burns out and the fire goes out and every time the fire goes out you have to start again you don't get to pick up where you left off you have to start again every time the fire goes out start again light another fire starter pour some more jet fuel down go and come back and you light the fuel i'm sure some people have already figured out a time in their life where that's relatable i can tell you a time for myself when that was relatable so when i was younger i joined in a uh a game development course for gaming, building and designing games. So I had a real inkling for it. I really enjoyed the the aspect of like this the the worlds you can create, the scenery, and I was really into that for for a fair amount of time. I used to just marvel at it and be like, "Wow, it'd be so cool to be able to create that, create that that atmosphere and the in the world that is immersive, and be able to do that." So I thought, "Let's go and see if there's anything anything that teaches me how to do that." And then, lo and behold, some Facebook targeting happened. I got advertised some couple of gaming courses, and I thought, oh, this looks like exactly what I need. The universe must be providing to me. <laughs> and uh, clicked the ad that was marketed to me with some money, took me to a website, and then I saw there was a gaming course that I could do. So I signed up. I was motivated. I was ready to go. I was ready to buy. I was like, yeah, this sounds really cool. Thought about it for a little, little bit uh, after I saw the ad. Had, had a few conversations with some people and thought, you know what, even if I don't go anywhere, it'll be a cool skill to learn. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do it. Let, let's jump in and, and, and do this course. So I enrolled in the course. Very easy to enroll. Got in there. Turns out later on I'm in like $20,000 debt because of this course that I never finished. Because I got going. I was motivated. I, I went to the to the campus. I was in with all the people. They were all like doing all this game design. It was motivating as. So much energy in the room. I uh, started the course, got home, jumped straight into it, completed the first module on the first day, just straight away, did it, bang, it was through. 
tutor was impressed. He was like, "Wow, if the if, this, if the quality of work is like this for the rest of the course, you're going to be you, you're going to easily manage this, and it'll be very impressive to see where you go." Um, my tutor at the time had been working in the gaming industry, and he had worked on some of the big titles. Um, I can't remember what games now. It was a while ago, but I think it was something like I think he worked on maybe the Far Cry series or something. I don't know. And uh, yeah, so he's he's actually experienced in in the industry. He's worked on those types types of things. And I was like ready to go. I'm like, my tutor's like someone that has results and has actually worked in the industry. And the um, the work seems pretty straightforward right now. I smashed the first one out there, impressed. Went straight into the second one, got that one done in that next week. Was good to go. Um, everything was all going good. And then I hit the third module. Now, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed at this point. At this point, I'm enjoying the content. I'm learning things. I'm getting, I'm understanding particles and what kind of particles do what and, and, and mapping um, like uh, paths for characters and how they work. I had to join my, create my own map and then level maps and all this stuff, right? Really cool stuff. And then module three came along and for whatever reason, I just was like, I don't really want to do it. Don't really want to learn this anymore. Even though I had good marks, good feedback, I was getting results from the person I wanted to do. I was motivated. I was ready to go. Submit. Come back. Excellent. Submit the next one. Come back. And then just my fire starter went out. It used up all the fire starter. And I was, I was at module three and looking at it like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next day. Went into the campuses as well. So I'm not even, not just alone in my own room trying to do this study. I'm, I'm in with the people as well. I'm going out. It was all right. Got myself through that third module pretty much all the way. Unsure if I remember if I submitted. I think I submitted the third module. The fourth one definitely was not submitted. I did not have the motivation to keep going. And I was in amongst the people. I was watching workshops on how to make models for, uh, I had a kit bash and make models for uh, character design and how to flesh out ideas very quickly so you can keep moving forward with your process. I was watching people do all that kind of stuff. I was watching other uh, creatives doing coding and all sorts of crazy stuff that I wasn't up to. I was like, wow, this is impressive. And I was not motivated at all to do it for myself. Why? Because again, the motivation ran out. The motivation, the fire starter, burned up and I was no longer pushing the barrel. Punch. I'm always punching this microphone. I was pushing the ball up the hill and then I ran out of energy and down I went. So then, sure, I was like somewhat down the path of the goal. I was like, what, I think it's 15 modules, so about a, about a fifth or a sixth into the uh, module and the ball rolled down. But I didn't, I don't, when you, when you go to start again, you're not then starting again at you know, where you were up the hill and module four is ready to go. I have to then start as if I'm starting from fresh again and find the motivation again and read, go for the goal, sum it up somehow and go forward with the next module. But it doesn't just, it's not just easy like, oh yeah, I'll just pick it up where I left off. Even though the work was there, my motivation was back here and I had to build myself back up to there and keep going and I never made it back to there at that point in time. And then I had like thousands of dollars of debt to pay off, which really screwed up my early adulthood years. So then, what gets you to your goal? What gets you to go? Well, let's go back to fire. Let's go back to fire. So you light the fire underneath, you have the motivation, you start going. And you have all you have is a fire starter. But what you need is to build the fire. You need to build it up. You can't just rely on the fire starter or, or the jet fuel because it's going to burn up, it's going to be gone, and you're going to start again, as we just said. So you've got to build the fire. So if you've ever built a fire before, if you haven't, you're going to learn how to build a fire right now. I'm going to tell you how to build a fire. If you've built a fire, you know what I'm talking about here. So you start with a little pile. If you get to find some kindling or something or whatever, if you have a fire starter, that's good newspaper, whatever it is, you light that up and then you add, you put like sticks in a little teepee shape, in like a little pyramid. And you start adding small sticks and then bigger sticks and then bigger sticks and bigger sticks and then before you know it, you've got a bonfire. And that's exactly what you need to do. Forget about motivation. You need to find firewood. You need to find fuel, but not jet fuel, long sustaining fuel for your fire. You can't just have motivation, woo, and then go and do stuff because it's going to burn out. Motivation will 100% of the time kill your success if you only rely on motivation to get you there. 
it will kill it you're dead you'll, you'll just forget the plans you're making if you're relying on motivation alone because you will not make it to the end unless it is a very meaningless like really simple task that doesn't really progress you anywhere not the big the big goal you know the big like pff, goal vision for your life you'll never make it to that if you rely on the jet fuel and the, and the fire sauce. you need to find firewood and build a fire now what do I mean about firewood I mean, you need to have a reason to keep going. You need to find a reason that keeps you motivated, but then if you stop, doesn't allow you to stop. It needs to be compelling. You need to have a reason why you're going all the way. So you build up the fire, and then it might be small sticks at first, just a bit of kindling, a bit of stuff, and then a couple of sticks, and then a couple of big, bigger sticks, and then a couple of logs, and before you know it, you have like, Either you've got a roaring fire and you're just going for it, like all in 100% energy, like a thousand percent, or it's burned down into into a bed of coals that just trucks the train, just keeps the train going, and you know you're pumping in the the, the coals into the engine and the train just keeps going, the train just keeps going, and that's what you end up with. And both are good, both are really good. If you can have some coals and some wood, that's the way to go. Because not only have you got like that underlying push of the engine, the steam rolling train just going, but then you've also got the, the roar of the fire as well that pushes you and makes you take the bigger leaps and, and is the energy required to achieve such big goals if you have decent goals. Like you want to be setting big goals. And that all starts with a little fire starter. A little fire starter, boom, a little spark, a little match, a lighter. And that's where it starts. And then it becomes this massive roaring engine and that keeps you going. So now you know that, let's look at the consequences of not finding fuel. So we've already talked about how the fuel will burn out and you won't be able to get to the goal because the motivation will dwindle away. And it doesn't matter if you get motivation along the way, it's not going to be enough. You need a more compelling reason to go for the goal. And if you don't have the compelling reason, if you don't go out into the into the wilderness and find firewood. If you don't find firewood and you're left stuck with your fire starters and your jet fuel, the consequence of not finding is, is one, that you're gonna give up on all of the goals that you start. So you're always gonna be starting and stopping and starting and stopping. And that's, the, that's what actually brought on this topic that I saw people starting goals and even myself starting goals and then not following through all the way to the end of the goal. I said, well, what's going on? Why, why is there no one finishing the goals? Besides your trauma inside you that doesn't allow you to get there, let's say you are working on yourself and that's fine. You're still throwing yourself at the goal. Why are you still not making it to the goal? Like what, what's, what's this like, I don't know, this uh, barrier or door that's locked on the, on the way to the journey that stops everybody? Like you're trying to go for the goal and you just keep getting stopped. So what is that? And I ask myself, and it's, it's this stop and start cycle that happens all the time. And you're wanting to go for the goal. Like you absolutely want to go for the goal. And people will come in with goals and we'll, we'll workshop some things out and some action steps and get them on the road to the goals. And I believe them. They're 100% committed. But then left to their own devices, they end up back where they were before. So what's going on? The consequence of not going out and finding a reason why and having firewood or having someone like a coach or you know, people, clients I've worked with and helping having me be in there to help them define a really strong why is they only have fire starters. They only have motivation. They only have like positive podcasts or whatever. They don't actually have a reason to keep going. They haven't got the firewood to keep the fire roaring and the fuel and the engine from going out. They've only got the fire starters. And the biggest problem is that they, they light a fire starter and then they go to go on the journey, but they have to come back to the fire starter and light another one. If they don't want the fire to go out, they have to light another one. They have to go and they have to come back. And they're basically standing next to their fire starter 24-7. They've got this little fire starter block. They build a little tower. And as one, as one fire starter you know, really melts down, they just put one on top. And then one, before you know it, there's this big pile of like burnt out fire starters <laughs> where they just continuously had to put the next one on and the next one on and the next one on. You know, and, they, and they burn themselves out as well because they don't take care of themselves because they're having to man this fire 24-7 all the time. 
and they're tipping fuel on it and mate trying to get it to go and it just makes the fire stars burn quicker and they're putting more f- motivation on and more fire stars and they have to stand next to it the whole time so they don't actually get to pursue the goal they don't get to go down the path on the goal and learn things about themselves and find more reasons why and pick up the pieces and they don't actually even get to find firewood because they're too caught up with lighting the fire starter all the time lighting that looking for the motivation and looking 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 and, looking and searching and searching and listening to this and this and this person this person this person this person and they're not actually going down the road and learning about themselves learning who they are so that they can then get to where they're going a lot more efficient and a lot more uh with more meaning or power or whatever it is they haven't got that engine roaring because they're not going out into the world and finding the firewood so i trust that makes sense so the consequence of not going out and finding firewood is that you're always lighting fire starters. But if you have firewood and no fire starter, you're also not getting anywhere. You could have all the firewood in the world, but no way to light it. So you do need motivation in the beginning. I do want to clarify that. You do need it, you can't hold on to it. So you have your motivation and then you go get firewood straight away. Or you start before you've lit the fire or, you, or, or it's like you know, you've you snapped a fire starter in half and you're lighting half of it, enough for you to go and get some wood to put on the fire and then get the other half and poof, light up the fire. Something like that. Some analogy like that that works in your mind. But you need to have a reason why. So what do I mean about why? So what do I mean about firewood and how do I, how do we go about finding some of that? So the easiest one, one of the biggest ones that is in everyone's life, if you have the option to have it, is family. The reason why you keep going when it gets dark is you have the dark tunnel with the light at the end, but you can't see the light at the end. There's twists and turns in the cave, so in the tunnel. So you just walk through and you can't see the light at all at the other end. There is no light. There's no like hope that you're seeing and, and you know, you're just walking forever and it never seems to get any closer. You can't even see the light. It's, it's that dark. No one talks about how dark the tunnel is. The tunnel's fucking dark. And you need a reason to keep going and to keep feeling your way out and hitting walls and, and going. And family is a lot of the time the reason why. If you have kids, that's a huge motivator for a lot of people. I've seen people transform their lives. They were, they were like pretty reckless and destructive and they had a kid and they just transformed into this well-reformed adult taking care of a child because yeah, it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility. So that is a really big driver as a why is for family. Now, if you don't have family, if you're in my position where I don't have kids yet, but I will have kids and they are in my future somewhere. That is enough driver for me in that, in that arena that I'm going to have a family and I need, I'm building now for that. And then to, to make that as easy as possible or to give that resources and tools and, and, and have, remove potential future stresses or whatever, I'm stoking the fire now and building the fire and finding the reasons why before that's even there. There's other things like your own growth. Sure, it's motivating, but you've got, to, you've got to word it in a way that makes you feel the reason why you've got to do it. The people, how is it going to affect you directly? Is, are you going to benefit by having growth and seeing more of yourself and, and being able to travel the world and have all the experiences you want to have and all the stuff you want to buy and all that stuff, whatever the why is for you? How do you directly impact uh, or get impacted by your achieving the goal? Like, why are you doing it? That's number one. Number two, then becomes the family one, the immediate surrounding of you. Who Who is, is around you that will be affected by you achieving the goal and how do they benefit? What is it? What, what does it give them by you achieving the goal? Are you going to be more present in the family? Are you going to have opportunities to do more things with them? Are you going to have friends and, and even your, your parents? Are you going to be able to support them better? Are you going to be able to support your friends when they get stuck? Are you going to be a more rounded person and be able to, uh, again, be more present for them or hold space for them or... Whatever the thing is for you. And then the third one is how are you going to affect the world? How are you, or, or your local community? How are you going to affect the people outside of you and the people around you? So the people outside of that, again, your local community, your country, your state, the world, the, the, the universe. <laughs> uh, how are you going to affect it? What is, what is you achieving this goal enable you to do in that arena? And how is that going to benefit them? And really go deep on this. Like my why list is like, I mean, this doesn't seem long because it's 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 
subjective to how big the text is, but it's a big list, right? I have a lot, I have all three sections sectioned out and I have all these things and then I have some mantras at the bottom and some like affirmations or um, what are they called? Anecdotes and stuff that I can say to myself to just remind me of certain times where I've hit very peak states or or really triumphant moments for myself and I've tied it in with a, with a sentence and I put it at the bottom and I just keep reiterating that for myself so whatever it is whatever your value is for you or some of the things that you want to live by um like you know your vision you can have that in there and then like boom and that's firewood and that keeps you going so that when the fire starter runs out because it will when the motivation runs out and the fire starter burns up the jet fuel burns off the fire that remains underneath is the fuel that is the firewood. That's your why. It keeps you going. So you're pushing that boulder up the hill, and you're pushing, and you're pushing, and you're pushing, and then you can feel the fire starting to fire starter starting to go, and you just keep pushing. You don't even blink. You just keep going because the motivation got you there, and you can just keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing, and the why drives you. Your firewood drives you and stokes the flame. The engine keeps roaring, and you push the boulder to the top of the hill, and then you ask yourself, okay, what's the next? hill i've got to push this boulder up and then you go you may have to find some more motivation you may find a little chunk of uh, fire started waiting for you at the top of the hill i don't know i don't know why it's there but you found it and then bang next lot of motivation to the next level and you can also get motivation along the way you can pick up more fire stars as you go as long as you have fuel to push the engine forward because the more hill you climb the steeper it gets the heavier the boulder is and you have to push harder and you have to push stronger and go to the next level, the next one, the next one. You might need more motivation to keep a little bit of a, a little bit of an extra burn as you go up the hill. So you might get up halfway the second hill and you get a little bit of extra motivation, a bit, another fire starter. You throw it in, up we go again. And there's nothing wrong with that. You just need fuel underneath. And whatever motivation looks like for you, it could be that you go to a seminar, you go to a training and immerse yourself fully into a training. You might go to some sort of massive event that has lots of energy around your goal, around the industry you're in or the thing you're trying to achieve or you get around like-minded people and you go or you, or, you get, or you just listen to literally motivational podcasts and fire yourself through. Like, you know, you might listen to this podcast and get energy. You know, maybe you put on the one where I rant about not wasting your life and then you put that on and you just get into like the zone. Like, yeah, I'm not going to fucking waste my life. And you go for it. Maybe that's motivation. Maybe it's reading a book. Maybe it's talking with other people. I don't know. Whatever it is for you. Maybe it's you know banging your thumb with a hammer. You know, I don't know what it is. But motivation to get your thumb out of the way and bang the nail in, you know? <laughs> Whatever it is for you. And then you go with it. And to round this off, I guess what we could say is that the the fuel and the reason why, the once you have your wines in place and that keeps you going. The reason I still say motivation will kill your success is when you rely on that solely because motivation gets you going, as we said. The whys keep you moving forward with momentum. So momentum is really what I've been talking about this whole time. Momentum and consistency is what gets you to the goal. And the motivation gets you up and running and then momentum by already being running and already moving towards the goal keeps you moving because what is in motion stays in motion. And then consistency in showing up, momentum going. Every now and then throw an extra fire starter in for a bit of motivation. Woo, we're off going a bit faster. And as you show up and you show up and you show up and you show up, you get you build your muscles. You build your consistency muscles, your momentum muscles. And as I said, that, that boulder gets heavier as you go up the hill and it gets steeper as you go up the hill. And the why keeps you wanting to push and your muscles give you strength. The momentum and the consistency that you prove to yourself you can do gives you the muscle and the oomph to actually push the heavier boulder up the hill as you go. And as you climb each hill and as it gets steeper and you use more motivation, you bring more momentum, you've got your whys to push you forward, you've got the Older getting heavier, the hills are getting steeper, but you're getting stronger. You know you can handle it. You can prove to you that you can handle what's coming. You don't end up rolling down the hill again and allowing the boulder to roll over you because you've got the strength to hold the boulder. And at any time, you can always come down the hill if 
you know, whatever it is isn't serving you anymore. And you'll, and you'll notice that you don't even have to have motivation or the fuel to hold the boulder at a lower level because you had the strength. You built the strength up from climbing Everest and then you came halfway down to base camp and you're just able to hold the boulder. It's fine. You can start from there after that. You can come in with this extra strength you've learned from the previous times from achieving those things consistently showing up. And you can throw fire starters in. It just gives you extra motivation and push it back up because you're already pushing. Because again, what stays in what momentum, what stays in motion, what's in motion stays in motion. So get behind some motivation. Get behind some some firewood. Go find some firewood. Your whys. Let them drive you. Start climbing up a hill with a boulder. Metaphorically, of course. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> And this has been the Jesse Dawson Podcast. I've enjoyed this one. I, uh, I fleshed that out more than I had planned before I started uh, as I was going. I actually just found a whole new layer during that, so that was really cool. Trust you really valued that one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Use that to push yourself forward. And as usual, like it, subscribe, follow, share, comment, engage with the content so I know you're listening because don't be passive in your journey. Show up and be consistent. Start building that momentum and show up right now. Give us a comment. Do whatever you need to do. Send me a message. Let me know what you thought uh, and then go from there and uh, get amongst my Facebook group. Uh, it's the, the playground on my page. Um, subscribe. You can find the audio podcast on many different audio platforms. You can find the video podcast on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, so if you want to jump to and fro between the two, you can. You have the option. Uh, and I'll see you in the next podcast. Enjoy your day, your evening, your afternoon. Thanks for letting me share. And I'll see you in the next one. Double thumbs up.